1994, biologist Richard Bodmer was doing field work in the Peruvian Amazon when he discovered a unique corner. Every time we stopped at Lago Prieto, we noticed that there was always red wakari monkeys there. There was no other place that we would go in the Peruvian Amazon that we would see red wakari monkey every time we went there. Why is that? Why are all the other areas places where you can see red wakari for one day and then they disappear for two months? Through Mark's work, they discovered the answer. Lago Preto has the wakari's ideal terrain for all seasons. High dry forest, lowland wet forest, and palm swamps. And so from that, we decided that this was a place that required special conservation attention. In 2006, Bodmer persuaded the government of Peru to ban logging in Lago Preto and create a conservation concession as a wildlife preserve, the first of its kind in Peru. The site is managed by the Wildlife Conservation Society and England's Durrell Institute of Conservation and Ecology. Protecting the wakari has a ripple effect. Every few days, the Amazon loses an area the size of Miami, and perhaps a dozen species, all of them rare. Safeguarding the monkey protects its home, benefiting all the animals and plants in the region. There's many, many other species that occur in Lago Preto. So while it was created for the red wakari monkey, the Lago Preto Conservation Concession is actually much broader in terms of its impact on conservation actions for the future. 